are you doing? Happy, I was going to say Friday. It is Thursday. So today I want to talk to you about, as I'm working on this technology, <laughs> I am hopping on to talk to you about the value of obedience. Um, I have a story, a testimony about being obedient. Um, the scripture that I want to talk about is Matthew 7, 13 and 14. It's um, talking about entering in, like following the narrow way, walking that narrow path. Um, I can tell you, I can feel it right now, even while I'm doing this video. It is crazy the amount of resistance that we will encounter and have um, right before breakthrough. Like it is, it's crazy. So we must be like disciplined in our obedience to follow through with whatever God is telling us to do. So um, the scripture says, it, again, is Matthew 7, 13 and 14. Enter, enter by the narrow gate for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction. And there are many who go in by it. Because narrow is the gate and difficult is the way which leads to life. And there are few who find it. It is at the end of the day, like we've got to be honest, like it is so hard to follow through sometimes on that like narrow path and live a disciplined life and live a life of obedience to what God is telling us to do. Um. I, I kept thinking, I was like, what am I going to share about today? And I felt like God was saying, share your testimony, like your cancer story. And I was just like, my goodness, I have shared this testimony. I feel like I've shared it so many times, but, um, again, he was saying, I need you to be obedient to this. So there is specific, <laughs> there's a specific reason for why I'm sharing this today, evidently. So, um, in 2009, I went to the doctor with, for a cold and, long story short, that cold, I found out that I had um, stage three Hodgkin's lymphoma and immediately started doing chemotherapy like a month. It was about a month later after I found out. Um, after that, um, I about six months into treatment, I ended up in a coma on life support, given less than 5% chance of survival. Um and then through divine intervention, through prayers, like so many people were praying, they were being obedient and praying. The Lord healed me. I woke up out of the coma. I was told from that point that I would be in a wheelchair for the rest of my life and that I would have a trait. Um, you can still see today the trait score that I have the trait for the rest of my life. So I would be on um, um, oxygen. For the rest of my life. And one year later, I ran a half marathon. Like I like it, that is such a it's an absolute miracle. But what I felt like God wanted me to share with you today in my testimony is about being obedient and training for the half marathon. So I want to show you these pictures because this kind of helps um give life <laughs> to my story. This is um this is me, let's see here, waking up. This is me in the hospital. You can see going through chemo, but then this is me waking up, um, waking up in, in that state. And basically that's how they were saying that I was gonna just remain like that. Um, and then one year later, I crossed the finish line. Let's see here, if we can, I'm, do, I'm doing two, media platform. So hopefully you guys can see that. That's me after I crossed the finish line, after running the half marathon with the team and training. Um, but it, it, what I learned through that process was being obedient every step of the way, being obedient to the training process and, and what my coaches were telling me to do. I will never forget the first day that I met with a group of people and they said, okay, today um, we're going to start with running. We're just going to take a short little run 
right down the road and back. It's just a two mile jog. And, and that's where we're starting. And I thought, oh my gosh, what have I gotten myself into? And, um, as I was coming back, oh my gosh, I remember coming back on the way back, um, at the end of that two mile run, I was like, cancer is easier than this. Like, and this was just in the beginning, the two, the two mile run. Um, so, but anyway, going through that process, I think it was like a four month training process. Um, and they told us, you know, like kind of how to fuel ourselves, like how to be eating, um, the different exercises to do through the week. I think that we met like three different times for training. I can't really remember. It's been so long. Um, but we would meet and then we would like, you know, each week we would add more mileage to our run. Um, and anyway, it was just like through that process of being obedient and disciplined, it got me finally across the finish line where I ran 13.1 miles with um, team and training. And it's the craziest thing because still to this very day, after all those years, that was in, I think, 2010, I was in the coma in 2009. So it was in 2010 when I ran that half marathon and still to this very day, because of being um, disciplined and obedient through that process, I am able to pull from that today. And so when I set out for like a goal or when I set out to do something, it's like, I can, it's just, it's kind of natural and easier for me to follow through after going through that, really that training process. Um, a lot of you, if you follow me, you know, um, last October, I did a 40 day juice fast. Um, and so doing that 40 day juice fast coming out of that, I am so surprised at how much again, yet again, after just being disciplined for 40 days and doing the same thing for 40 days in a row, how that has grown me, um, it's grown me just mentally, physically, spiritually, like I am able to follow through on so many more things ever since I did that 40 day juice fast. So anyway, I'm sharing this today because I want to invite everyone and encourage everyone to first off, just never undervalue um, being obedient to the Lord, like never undervalue that. That is such a huge thing because we, we live from a place of obedience because we love him. It's not because we're afraid that, you know, um, he's going to be mad at us or any of that. We do it out of our love for him. But whenever we are obedient and follow through on things, it matures us and strengthens us in such a way. So I want to encourage you today to get into that scripture and Matthew 7, 13 and 14 and, and ask yourself and ask like, what is the Lord asking me to do? Like what narrow road, what narrow path is he asking me to follow? So um, anyway, I hope this kind of gets your, your wheels thinking a little bit, um, turning about really honestly where God is calling you into discipline and obedience today. So happy Thursday, and I will see you tomorrow. Take care.